And we're back now with today. Food Passover begins next week, and we've got a meal that is sure to be a big hit at your Seder table. Top Chef Judge Gail Simmons is here to show us how to make a brisket, a recipe, of course, that is fantastic uh, and hard to make, but we're going to make it easy for you. Plus, we've got the all... We're talking about Top Chef, Gail. You have been there since the beginning. You and I both mm -hmm. started The Voice and Top Chef around the same. Like, we're right. both 20 seasons plus into Isn't these shows. Isn't that wild? How, could you ever have imagined? I never could have imagined that. How, how are things uh, How have things evolved on Top Chef? I mean, in so many ways. Um, you know, Top Chef, I think the best part about it is that it evolves so much. Every year we're in a different city across America yep. or the world. Um, a new cast of incredibly talented chefs. This year we have a new host, Kristen Kish, who was our season 10 winner. So imagine like the full circle of her right. life uh, a decade later. It's, it's oh, been a blast. It's, it's still you. the gold Thank standard of, uh, on TV. So we what, have a blast. And we eat well. Yes, you do. I got a brisket. brisket in my freezer that I look at. I go, not this weekend. Don't want to do the smoker. Show us how to make this. So this is <laughs> braised, right? So you so it's a little bit easier because you can sort of leave it alone. And mm. I think that's the key to a great braise. Make a delicious braising liquid. And then you've got the piece of meat that needs to be in it for a long time to become tender and delicious. So I'm I'm starting. This is the flat cut of brisket. Um, it's a first cut brisket, and this is the best part to use for a braise. The pointed end of a brisket is often better for barbecue, so you're going to ask your butcher just for this. Okay. The most important thing. And they'll trim it up because it's Absolutely. hard to get the right trimming. That's and all right. That. So give me the flat, trim it up, get it braised ready. That's the butcher exactly. will help you get that, they'll right? They'll do it all. So, okay, of course, good. you're going to season it on both sides with lots of salt and pepper. Yep. And then it is a big, it is a big baby. I have a little oil in my pan, and mm -hmm. I'm going to start to sear it, to brown it, to get all that flavor moving. Mm -hmm. And you're going to sear that, keep it up, keep it hot. So you high heat. Sear it, high heat, medium high heat, and you want to get it browned so that you get all that flavor starting to cook. Yep. Leave it alone to sear it. Once it's seared, you're going to remove it, yep. and meanwhile, you have your vegetables. You can use any you know, combination of root vegetables um, and things like that that you like. Potatoes are classic. Carrots, celery. I love fennel because mm -hmm. when it cooks and braises, fennel it gets so sweet. Yeah, it changes. Exactly. So I'm just going to cut it up into sort of big slices. You don't have to be precious about it at all. <laughs> And then... Ultimately, you, these go back in the pan that you braised exactly. the brisket so in. Exactly. So the meat has been removed. You have all that delicious kind of brown, mm -hmm. good stuff. I've got a whole bunch of shallots, but obviously you can use white onions. Yep. Um, you can use... Garlic, some carrots, celery. Exactly. Some you garlic can leeks. Cloves. You can all, throw anything you want. Absolutely. Fennel. And it's going to go all in the pan. And you're going to do the same thing with this. You're going to just brown it up. You're going to move it around. You're going to season it just a little season bit. Season your veggies. Always season That's right. Veggies. Get in there. Thank you very much yeah, for the assist. Yep. So this is going to get nice and brown. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to move it aside. Yep. And now you have the bottom after the vegetables have been removed, still some of that brown stuff. So the first thing you're going to do is deglaze it. I'm actually going to use the red wine first okay. so I can burn off the alcohol. You hear that sizzle? Yeah, I heard that. That means that's working. Love that. You're going to let that cook down a little bit so that the alcohol burns off. And then you're going to add some stock. This is beef stock. Mm -hmm. So layers. far, I think I can do all of this. You yep. absolutely yeah. can. Then a few bay leaves. And then that braise that you browned mm -hmm. earlier, that big piece of um, brisket that is not cooked, but it's nice and brown and mm -hmm. ready to go, is going to go back in. Wow. And when you put it back in, you want it to be about three quarters covered yep. by the braising liquid. You're going to seal it with a tight-fitting lid, yep. some foil, in the oven, two hours. Gail, you hear that silence to your left? I mean, That's a good sign. You guys are just, that means our eaters so are eating. This is, this oh, yeah. is very... That look means at our mouths are full yes. of brisket. Yes. Right. How is it, guys? Uh, it's delicious. delicious. And Amazing. the vegetables are Shocking. really good. They're like the, but the vegetables are the best part. They really oh. are. All right, we only have about a minute, okay. Gail, so show so us the So that gets braised, then you have to put the vegetables back in for the last hour of cooking. So three hours of cooking total. It comes out, it sits and rests. Meanwhile, making a little gremolata, a little topping. I've got fresh horseradish. If you can't find fresh, you can buy it jarred. But I love the fresh horseradish. Very symbolic at the Passover Seder. Uh huh. I see what's happening over there. What is the they're no dum dums. As, um, to the seder symbolizing, dinner. it's it's always on our seder table, fresh or jarred, symbolizing the, the the bitterness of slavery, the bitterness of oppression, and then of course another the big horse, symbol. The horse, the horse conjures up the, the exactly, tears. Exactly the tears, but that also it, it has them, a it has a bitterness, cool. it has a sharpness, right? Yep. It's delicious, too. Um, you can also put some in your braising liquid, but that's a whole You're other You're going to have to check this out. Uh, Today.com. Get the recipe. So good. Access your free account. Thank you so oh, much. You got it. Of course. It. Yummy. So good. Oh.